Dear friends, welcome back to my YouTube channel. And this is an online chemistry tutorial. You get my previous videos either from my homepage or from my YouTube channel. Okay, we were discussing some topics in reaction mechanism in our can chemistry. And last few lectures we discussed elimination reaction and reaction intermediates. And for today's presentation, I would like to discuss two about two reaction intermediates. One is nitrine and second one benzene. And formation, structure and reactions of these two intermediates. We already know what is reaction intermediates that is usually formed by homolytic or heterolytic bond fission which results in the formation of short-link transient species and it is highly reactive and quickly converted into products and this is the structure of nitrine and this one is benzene so we will discuss first nitrine intermediates and nitrine is also called imine and it is actually a nitrogen analog of carbene carbene is another intermediate and as we already know it is very short-lived species having transient existence and not directly observable so it is unstable and it so it is highly reactive and nitrine is a neutral molecule and it's monovalent that is important or n monovalent and usually substituted nitrines are named as derivatives so this one is uh, for example phenyl nitrine so this nitrine substituted derivative is named as you know its derivative so these are the examples of nitrines and this nitrine is also called imidocan this is made methane sulfonyl nitrine that is alkyl nitrine and this phenyl nitrine okay how these nitrines are generated that is usually from azide is first example from azide and photolysis or thermolysis of alkyl, aryl or acyl or sulfonyl acid. Okay. And this one, this is acid N3. This is on photolysis or thermolysis. It gives nitrine. This is the nitrine by the evolution of nitrogen. And this is a sulfonyl acid. You get a corresponding nitrine. And second one, it is also obtained from nitro or nitroso compound. And nitro compound on thermolysis in the presence of alkoxyphosphine to give nitrine. And third one, from small ring like this, this one. And this ring on light radiation, you get aldehyde and nitronal aryl nitrine okay next one what is the structure of nitrine and nitrine possess six electron in its valent shell of electron and out of six two electrons in used to for making covalent bond remaining four remaining four it will be the or as a non-ponded electron and in totally we can say no it is a neutral and it is considered as electrophile because it, this electron deficient six contains six electron and structure is similar to carbene uh, we know there are two types of carbene structure that depends on the spin state that is singlet carbene and triplet carbene. Similarly, nitrine also depends on the singlet state. There is a singlet nitrine and triplet nitrine. In singlet nitrine, non-bonded electron spin are paired. 
and in triplet it is unpaired that is parallel this is anti parallel and you can see it here this is the nitrine okay and in this nitrine you can see that this first one this one these two electrons are paired in each cases one electron pair is always paired and other one these two electron may be paired in the case of singlet and unpaired in the case of triplet and this is the actual structure of nitrine there are two types triplet is like this this is parallel spin is parallel but in singlet it is anti parallel and this one is actually uh, hybrid sp hybridized and you can see that in ground state is sp hybridized and lone pair occupy in one sp hybrid orbital and second bond pair is used for making rn bond and there will be of course in sp hybridized state there will be a degenerated p orbital to p orbital and this single electron occupy on this degenerated p orbital okay that is the structure of triplet and coming to the structure of singlet in ground state it is a sp2 hybridized and this is the sp2 hybridized orbital one here one sp2 second sp2 and third sp2 so one sp2 is used to for making rn bond and other two sp2 possess or it two electrons two four electrons occupy on these two orbital okay this and there will be an empty pair orbital okay that is about structure of nitrate next one stability and characterization of nitrate and usually the energy difference between triplet and singlet state if you consider carbene and nitrate you can see that there will be large energy difference uh, uh, in the case of uh, carbene and there will be more energy difference uh, around 34.5 kilocalorie per mole for nitrine and 77.7 to 10 almost kilocalorie per mole for carbene that is the energy difference between transition state and singlet state so transition state is more stabilized than singlet state and the difference in energy is due to the difference in electronegativity of carbon and nitrogen nitrogen is more electronegative than carbon so it can hold this electron more tightly or close to the nucleus and it can increase increases the stability so nitrines are more stable and how to characterize the formation of nitrate you can characterize this by spectroscopic methods such as UV visible or IR. Usually it shows absorption maxima at 336 nanometer. Next one reactions of nitrine. First reaction cycloaddition reaction and addition to the alkene. In this reaction alkene can act as a nucleophile and nitrine can act as an electrophile okay and example ethyl acetoformate that is this compound on thermolysis it first form nitrine it gives singlet nitrine then the singlet nitrine get added to the alkene stereo specifically and it form this cyclized product this is the first reaction second reaction is insertion reaction insertion usually this ni nitrine on thermolysis it give ni this is azide on thermolysis you know it give nitrine then this nitrine can be inserted to the saturated hydrocarbon this is the saturated hydrocarbon you can see that uh, this is an uh, this hydrogen can be added to here 
this nitrogen can be added to here and it form a cyclase to pour. Third reaction is rearrangement reaction and in this reaction there is a migration of this one alkyl group that is the the carbon next to the nitrate get migrated to the electron deficient nitrogen. So uh, such rearrangement occurs you can see that this is a migrated alkyl group. So such rearrange occurs for example in courteous reaction you already may be aware of, uh, aware of this and as I said on thermolysis it give first a nitrine intermediate then it undergo a rearrangement like this okay this are alkyl group migrated to the nitrogen and it form isocyanide this is a one two shift and this is actually two in the presence of either heat or light okay that's all about the nitrine intermediate next one benzene intermediate what is benzene intermediate actually it is one two dihydrobenzene and C6H4 this is the formula and as you we already discuss every intermediate have this characteristic it will be short-lived and having transient existence and terribly not observable and highly unstable and highly reactive and apart from that this is a benzene so neutral and usually it is derived from benzene ring after removing two ortho substituent so in benzene ring by removing two ortho substituent okay that is the this is the structure of benzene it is also called one two di dehydrobenzene or benzene usually there are uh, the general name is alkane so you need to only study now benzene okay how does this benzene get generated so usually it get generated from hello benzene the presence of very strong base like sodomate in liquid ammonia like this alkyl halide halobenzene in the presence of liquid ammonia this dehydrohalogenation take place and it form benzene second reaction from di ortho dihalobenzene so in the presence of lithium or mercury or magnesium this get dehalogenated then third one from benzene diazonium to carboxylic acid so this one and this get decarboxylated and the uh, the get nitrogen get removed to form benzene next one structure and benzene with the carbon triple bond carbon carbon triple bond that is the structure so uh, that although it has an triple bond usually it is not considered as a normal alkyne and in this triple bond out of two pi bond one is normal and other one is uh, formed actually by lateral overlap of two sp2 orbital outside the ring so let's see this uh, this is the normal pi bond okay and this one this one is normal pi bond and this triple bond that is the abnormal pi bond it is usually formed by lateral overlap of 2sp2 hybrid orbital outside the ring so this is slightly you know deviated from the uh, normal uh, plane so the external pi bond is very unstable and very weak and less overlap so it is highly reactive that is about the structure and how this benzene get detected what is the evidence for the formation and there are three types of reaction i have given here the transient existence was detected you can detect by spectroscopy or by dimerization or by trapping through cycloaddition so this one uh, by dimerization you can understand whether the formed compound is uh, benzene so benzene in the absence of any external reagent it can undergo cycloaddition like this and dimerize to give this product so the formation of this can be confirmed by isolating this compound that is the one 
and if you add externally another compound like this taine it can undergo cyclo addition reaction and forms this product so this can also be detect the presence by adding this compound and third method if you add anthracene if you are getting this product that means there is a sign of formation of benzene this is these are the detection method and next one uh, reactions of benzene and this benzene can undergo nucleophilic addition reactions such as uh, water nucleophile and ammonia and uh, primary amine and this triphenyl carbine carbanion okay so you get uh, you know one either of this side this nucleophile get attack and it forms this corresponding product this is the one meth reaction second reaction it can undergo cyclo addition with olefins so it can form a product like this a cyclic cyclo butane product so in summary we have learned two reaction intermediates nitrine and benzene and the nitrines are nitrogen analog of carbon it possesses six electron in its valence shell and sp2 hybridized and sp hybridized there are two types singlet and triplet nitrine and hybridization is different in each case and next one benzenes are one two dihydrobenzene derived from benzene and it's a neuter species formed after removing two ortho substitute that's all and thank you for watching see you next week